Welcome back everyone to Wellstopia. Today we are in the storage facility for my industrial area and today we'll be working on my item sorting facility. This is my first time seriously working on an item sorting facility so it might not be perfect but it'll be getting the job done. Now I've already completed the first three modules for this. I wanted to make sure that the design I'm working with is feasible. And what we have on top is a stream where things will dump into this area. Let's say these ender pearls. And the ender pearls are going to travel along here. And we have a filter here. I'm using eggs called filter filler as my primary item in here. And the reason for using eggs is because they only stack up to 16, so therefore you could put one of each of those into the four slots, and then in the front slot you put the main item you want to get. In this case, I put iron in that one, so obviously iron's not going to be in there. I've temporarily put spruce wooden stairs in there, even though I don't seriously expect them to ever get into the system. And then eventually we get dropped into our overflow area. So I have two rows of overflow area. If you remember last time I had a third area in there which I will put that in later when I could move all these hoppers to the back. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Is first I want to be able to get my back area to wrap all the way through. So now first thing I want to do is then to start activating some of these other filters because right now it just has wooden stairs and in this case we're going to add our second item which are going to be our poppies since the iron farm is going to be producing both iron and poppies and of course poppies are nice and appropriate because it's that time of year where we're getting close to Remembrance Day and of course poppies are most appropriate near Remembrance Day. There we go. Now let's have a look at the back. Here is our back room area where we are doing the redstone for this. So we have each of these little modules here where we're actually doing the minimal filtering, minimum redstone that you need in order to do the filtering. This is pretty much standard stuff that I've seen on several different tutorials. Specifically I got mine from NIMS TV. What you do is you have this comparator looking at what's inside the hopper here and when it gets over a certain value the signal strength gets strong enough to turn this on and to turn on this repeater which then turns off the torch which turns on the hopper and things go through and then when the item count is low enough then they stop going through and locks again. So it's all the standard filtering system. So what I need to do now is to create my next module and I figure that's what we could do together so you can see what I'm doing on here. So what do I do for each module? First thing I need to do is to go down two more. Uh, the old stuff I got, inconvenient time to have dirt. All right, let's. So I go down two more, and you can see I need to go in one more after that, and I'm going to have a little block like that, a little bit of a stair step. up right there. And now I want to bring this a little in, bring that there. Good. So what I want here is a repeater. What I'm going to be needing here, let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. I want this come out like this. All right, so I'm into there. Now I want a repeater, a comparator there, but I have to do that from the other side. What I do want here though, 
is a piece of dust here. Uh, oh, not poppies, dust. All right, there you go. And piece of dust there, piece of dust there. And that's pretty much the redstone side of this. I know, pretty complicated. But what I want to do is to get the hoppers in. And we've got one, two, three. Okay, well we have hoppers all the way down there. So I want to put the hopper there, 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 and there. And the one on top of that. So these are my hoppers that are going to be directing everything into my system. Let me grab all the stone that I knocked out. Good. And now we head up here. And we want to go in here. Into here. And I need one more hopper for the filter itself. Here we are, one more hopper. And before I could put in this hopper, I want to put in my comparator. Now I could put in the hopper because I want to hop. Well, the hopper just has to not point down because that would be the worst result there. there. The best thing is for the hopper to be pointing into some place that's not going to put it into another container and the comparator is the safest direction for that. Now into here I want to put my four filter f the torch. I always forget the torch. But this at least will test that to make sure that I go all the way down. Good. Now that that's tested we want to put the redstone torch right over here torch is on right now that will turn off the hopper there so let's add our filler and then the item that we want to filter through now said temporarily we've been putting in these stairs but we need a real item that we're going to do and let's see what would be next I know I know exactly what to do well it's getting close to remembrance slash veterans day making poppies appropriate this is being posted on Halloween which of course means that pumpkins would be most appropriate so therefore we'll take out the stair and put in some a pumpkin there to use as our filter item so therefore if we well let's see let's drop some iron in there just to show what's there let's drop that in there let's drop that in there let's drop some poppies in there let's make sure everything gets through as we want we'll throw some melons in there because melons then can go into here good and that should be able to capture all of the items that we're going for right now and since that's out we could throw in some well the cane would be poor later so we'll just throw those in as for something that will go all the way through to test that everything is it looks like that one's off now so it looks like the pumpkins are going through and any moment that should turn back on and the next section should turn off right any moment All right. What's in here now? Ah, the ah because the poppies are going through right now. Ah, okay, so that's on now, and so now the poppies are going through, so that's going off. And once the poppies are finished, that's back on, and 
Oh, there it is. And that's off now. All right, good. Now that means I should have some sugar cane down here. I mean, no, oak blocks that. So therefore, actually, let's check everything. Make sure it went where it belongs. This should be iron. Good. Now I did that iron back, so we'll go into there. This then should be poppies. All right, good. We might as well keep that there. Here are here are our pumpkins. There are our melons. I've already have the wood back. So now I just need to build a few more. Now we have one for sugar. One for raw fish. And one for salmon. The next one over is going to be for clownfish and then puffer fish. And after that, I'll have to think on the others. The others will just have to be on reserve, so I may just wait before working on them more. But while trying to make the next few modules, I opened up into here. Oh, wee. Now this, I believe, leads outside up to here. Out into here. So I'll probably have to make some sort of guard to make sure that no mobs or anything like that get into there. Because it would be really nasty if a creeper came in through this entire mess. Now down here, we have a dark area, so this is actually could be quite concerning. So I have to be careful, I had seen a zombie around there earlier, but apparently it has since despawned, for better or for worse. Probably better. Alright, well I am going to have to obviously go around explore this area at some point and make sure that nothing nasty comes around and pops up through there. I had heard a zombie earlier and yeah I guess that's the cause of it. <sighs> More modules and see I'm getting pretty close to the turning point here but I am going to have to go through on this side and do a turn here. So I want to make sure that nothing breaks in through here. I don't think anything can at the moment. But it never hurts to be cautious. So therefore I will just put in a few blocks of cobble here. And cobble will hopefully remind me that this is an unnatural formation and that there's something on the other side that I would like to explore at some point. And I'll put that there just in case there's not enough light. Now that that's temporarily taken care of, I can go back and make more modules. I've managed to get as far as I'm going to get on this today. I've Got the one. I've decided on puffer fish here instead of clownfish since I didn't have any clownfish handy. So this is the one that's probably going to be for clownfish right here. Right now I have the spruce woods there. I wanted to get to the point where I had the turnaround so I could get the next wall started and see how that fits within all of this. So head back here and down here and we go this way. So I've got all the modules that I'm going to be needing immediately. I'll probably have to decide on the rest of them as I build up the industrial area. So the main thing I need to do now is just to make things look a little bit prettier than it is right now so I don't have all those hoppers going all over the place. And I need to make the whole place safer and things like that. 
But that's not going to be for today. Today we'll have to save that for another episode here in Piney Plays Minecraft Wellstopia.